All right, let's look at question three. They say the first three terms of a geometric series are as follows. That's three, two, four over three, and eight over nine. They say explain why the series converges. Right, so remember, when we talk about a convergent series, right, so I'm trying to just change color there. Right, so when we talk about a convergent series, we simply uh, mean that uh, the R value. So if we were to calculate the R value there, what would be our common ratio? Okay, so we can say T2 divided by T1. And so that would be 2 over 3, right? So that's our common ratio. So we can state that R is actually less than 1 and it is greater than negative 1. So that is the reason that it converges. Now, they say calculate the sum to infinity. So remember, sum to infinity, we always say A divided by 1 minus R. And the condition for us to be able to get sum to infinity is that it must be a convergent series, right? So that means it must satisfy this condition that we've just written there. So that's going to be A. Our A value is 3. Right, the first term of the sequence divided by 1 minus our R value, we just calculated it, uh, is 2 over 3. Right, so um, without any further waste of time there, so I'll say uh, 3 divided by, uh, I'll put that in brackets, that would be 1 minus 2 over 3. Right, and close that bracket there. Okay, and that's our answer. So which means that the sum to infinity is equal to 9. Okay, that should have been 3.2. Okay, and 3.3, .3, that's quite a short question, this. They say express sum to infinity minus Sn in the form a, uh, a times b to the exponent n. Right, so... Let's firstly, let's just find them, you know, separately. We know sum to infinity, we just found 9, okay? All right, and now let's find an expression for Sn. So Sn would be A, right? Please remember, uh, in this case, for a, uh, um, a geometric series, 1 minus R exponent N divided by 1 minus R. Right, so Sn, we know our A value is 3 minus, this is 2 over 3, right? To the exponent N. Okay, let's rather use square brackets so that we'll see the difference there. And this is 1 minus 2 over 3. Right, ladies and gents, let's try and simplify this as much as we possibly can. Right, so um, if I look at the denominator, that's 1 minus 2 over 3, which gives us 1 over 3, right? And 3 divided by 1 over 3, this will give us 9, okay? So um, this will be 1 minus 2 over 3, to the exponent n. Right, now remember they said to us we need to find an expression for sum to infinity minus sn, okay? And in this case, we are going to say this is 9 minus, this is 9 into 1 minus 2 over 3. In fact, um, why don't we actually multiply the 9 inside that bracket? Okay, so that's exponent n. Okay, right, so this would be 9 minus, so 9 times 1 would be 9. 9 times that ex entire expression, negative times a negative becomes a positive, and we're left with 9 times... 2 over 3 to the exponent n. And ladies and gents, we can cancel those two out. 
And so what are we left with? Uh, we've got 9 times 2 over 3 exponent n. And remember, that's what they asked us to do, to write it as a times b to the exponent n. So which means that's the expression right there. And that's how the cookie crumbles on this question, right? We are going to go into the next one. Nothing much uh, from that.